Hello guys and welcome back to Lineworks. In this video I will show you how to create this typographic poster design using a liquid distortion effect in Photoshop. Mate you can get some really awesome results using this technique. So without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. Make a solid color adjustment layer and set the background color. Now, select the type tool and type the text out, I would recommend using a bold font for this. I'm using Helvetica bold in this instance. Select the move tool and press Ctrl T to transform the text and resize it to your needs. When you're done, press Enter to confirm the transformation. Selecting the type tool, click and drag to select all of your text and press Ctrl T to get the characters panel. Now we will change the lighting and spacing of the text to bring the letters close together. Just click on the icons and drag horizontally to change the values. You can also input specific numbers if you want to. Again select the Move tool and press Ctrl T to transform the text and press Enter when you're done. Now with the topmost layer selected, press Ctrl Alt Shift E altogether to get a merged copy of all the layers. Right click on the layer and select Convert to Smart Object. We will use this water picture as a displacement map, I will link it in the description box below. Drag and drop it in our artboard and resize it to fit. We have to save this as a PSD file to use the picture as a displacement map. Once done, hide the picture layer and select the merged copy layer we made earlier. Go to Filter, Distort, and select Displace. You can experiment with the numbers here, but for now I will keep both of them at 50, and select Stretch to Fit and Repeat Edge Pixels. Select the displacement file we saved earlier and click Open. Now, I will add some text to balance the design out a bit. I will set the leading and spacing back to default for this. Now, we will drag and drop this texture on the design, and as always the texture will be linked in the description box below. Now, 
Now since we have a dark background on the actual design, we can set the blend mode of the texture layer to any blend mode from the Lighten group. In this case I prefer the Lighten blend mode, so we will stick to that. Decrease the opacity or fill if needed. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video in the new format. If you did, leave a like to let me know or just comment down in the comment section below. I read all of your comments and would love to know your thoughts. And if you're new on the channel, consider subscribing and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss another video. That's it for today. See you guys on the next one.